We're doing a reaction video. I am Dr. Shurgis, a cosmetic dermatologist based in New York City. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I don't do many reaction videos. I find them kind of irritating with all the thumbnails of people doing all these weird faces, but many of you guys messaged me on Instagram and put in the comment section that you guys wanted to see a reaction to Shay Mitchell's beauty routine. She is absolutely stunning. This is not for me to be hating on anything. I'm just giving you guys my reactions as I get. I have not watched the video yet, so I'm going to watch it for the first time with all of you. So without further Let's ado, jump in. Hi guys, Shay Mitchell here. I'm going to 58 steps. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Right. Take you through my skincare routine and my everyday makeup look. It includes for makeup. Quite a few steps, so stick with me. Every single morning when I wake up, the first thing I have to do is wash my hands. So my next step is my cleanser. This cleanser is super gentle. And I found this at a drugstore in Canada, and then I add about that much. Okay, I'm a little confused, but okay. I guess she does brush her teeth. And then she uses a cleanser. And I know the cleanser she's using. She's using the cleanser by Shawnee Darden. This one retails for 38 bucks or so. It's a very gentle cleanser. I like it. I've tried it a few times. Um, it did not overstrip my skin, but it is one that has hyaluronic acid in it. And here we go with the hyaluronic acid train. <laughs> but I'm not so mortified by it because you're gonna wash it off. Now, what I am mortified by is that she's using a silicone uh, scrubby tool that she found at some drugstore. And I'm mortified for two reasons. Number one, she probably used the cleanser at night with the same scrubby tool, and now she's repeating it again in the morning. So even though she's using a cleanser that is relatively gentle, she's probably gonna overstrip her skin over time if she does this twice a day. You do not need to be scrubbing with a silicone scrubby tool twice a day or using a cleanser twice a day. And I feel like this also helps just like exfoliate a little bit as well. It's a little ice roller. Oh, it just feels... It's massive. The ice roller is bigger than her head. I'm all for it. You do you. you know? One thing I love to do is uh, do under eye masks. It just make, allows your makeup to set on really nice without being super creasy underneath. So we have wash our hands, cleanser with scrubby tool because she wants to exfoliate. And then she does a face ice roller, which is massive and it's not small. Um, but side note, when using a face roller, you want to really go in the direction of the lymphatic fluid, basically from the inside out and down your neck. You want to massage it out. You don't just want to go like up and down in every single direction because you're not really giving yourself a lymphatic massage at that point. So basically look at me, anything that goes sort of in this direction, up and down the neck, up and down the neck. That's sort of where how your lymphatic fluid moves along your face. You're gonna see quite a few masks. And the reason why I like them is just because I feel like they're very hydrating. I put them on, I don't have to think about it. I love the drama of it. I think they look funny. I like to scare people when I'm traveling, especially, or when I'm just at home. So you don't need masks for hydration. They're, they're gimmicky. I think they are environmentally unfriendly. I mean, when you have a sheet mask, think of this you have a fabric mask sitting in a liquid and it doesn't disintegrate over time. That means when you are going to dispose of your sheet mask or eye mask, it is not going to disintegrate or get recycled very easily. And it's going to be wasteful for the environment. I'm not a fan of masks. I can honestly do a very cheap hack, get some Saran Wrap, poke one, two, three holes, put your moisturizer and Saran Wrap your face and you've saved yourself probably 30 bucks and you're probably getting better hydration that way. I'm just not a fan of masks. This is Lash Patch and it's hydrating lip gels. If I have time, I really go full out with my skincare because it's like, why not? It feels good. You know this mask and this mask has niacinamide, green tea and peptide extracts in it to help supposedly deliver antioxidant results. 
I mean, I wish they just had a serum that they could just, you know, put on your lips instead of having the whole waist filled. I'm going to also do this forehead mask. As you can see, I make a lot of expressions of my face. This is by Skin Iceland. I, oh, just guys, everything feels so cool. I'm like a skin mask superhero right now. So there we go. I feel like these are very specific to the area, but this next mask that I'm gonna put on is by 111 or 111 skin. I don't know. Balance $135 for a one time use mask. Uh, I don't know. Plus, in this mask, there is lactic acid. So it's an exfoliating acid. So she's waking up, scrubbing the shit off her face with a scrubby tool, and then using an exfoliating acid on top of it. So not only has she physically exfoliated, she's now chemically exfoliating all before, I think, 9 a.m. I don't know what time she wakes up, but it's a lot. Okay, so now we are fully covered. I never like to waste the juice of the mask, so I pour it into my hands. At least she doesn't waste the juice. And I rub it on my neck. But honestly, you should save that juice and put it in a serum bottle or some kind of squeezy pump. Why is it even being put in a... It's 2021! I have this really cool item that I actually found when I was in Japan. Perfect lifting premium V mask. It looks like this. <laughs> she has a mask on. <laughs> so she has a mask on a mask. <laughs> she looks like she's wearing it under like this. A scratch strap or some kind of jog like strap. That. I mean, it feels like it's doing something. And I kind of figure out like those bands you use when you're working out, this is also like that. Okay. I actually got this from Honest. Thank you, Jessica. So I want to keep all of this on. Oh my God. For like a good 15 minutes, then this is crucial to keeping everything intact. <gasps> I have this wand. Pause, 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 pause. Now she is using an Honest Beauty reusable face mask. I will say, Kudos to you, Jessica Alba, for creating a reusable face mask. It's much more environmentally friendly. But you have a mask on top of a mask on top of a mask. Like, why not just create a papier-mâché version of your own face that you can literally stick on top of your face every morning after applying your skincare? Honestly, that's not a bad idea. That's honestly not a bad idea. We should all create papier-mâché molds of our own faces and then cover that base with Saran Wrap and then put it on top so it could sit on top of our skincare so that everything gets absorbed. Just saying. Actually by Nurse Jamie. Here comes another roller. She could have literally used her ice roller that she had put in the fridge and now she could have actually massaged her face. There is truly no scientific evidence that rolling a face mask is gonna help the serum get better absorbed. It's not. It's a nice two for one because now at least you have the product on your face and you're just sort of lymphatically massaging your face. But one thing is not going to make the other penetrate better. Just don't be disillusioned by this. I also have a mask for my hoo ha. 24 karat breast masks. Your boobs need love too, you know? Especially She's right. She's right. Okay, you go down to your tits. Always, as Caroline Hyron says, down to the tits or down to the tatas, whatever you want to say. I've always told patients I think of the face, neck, and chest as a cosmetic unit, but boob masks and 24 karat is excessive. There's no way there's 24 karat gold if it costs 35 bucks. I just looked it up right now on Amazon or not that I would buy my skincare products off of Amazon. That's a discussion for another day. But just so you guys know, it's supposedly designed to moisturize and increase elasticity, firm wrinkles, brighten, and repair. Oof. 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 Especially if you're going on an event and you have a low cut dress, so here they are. Okay guys, so there you have it. Without being a little R-rated, trust that this is on correctly. It goes right around here and here. What I like to do for my chest area while all of this is sitting is use this La Mer Moisturizing Cool Gel Cream. I take a little bit of it out like that. So now she's using La Mer's cream, which is 150 or 190 bucks, something like that. And it is a lightweight gel moisturizer. Sure, 
I will give her props for not sticking her finger the other way around and utilizing the back of her nail because she has long nails. And I hate jars because it's just a breeding ground for bacteria, to be quite frank and honest. So at least she used the back of her nail since she has long nails. But I'm not a fan of open jars in general. But number two, I think like that's a lot now to be using on your chest for a jar that's not even that big. Um, this is a big budget. This is a big budget production. <laughs> Good for her. I mean, girl knows how to live. Ta da! Okay, so now that I've taken everything off, this is the time when I like to go in and just massage my face. So if I feel like I need a little. She already massaged it with the face ice roller thing, and then there's Jamie roller thing. So, I mean, this. Um, I mean, I don't know. A little bit of extra serum before I go in and do my facial massage. I like to use this bro serum. This is by 123 Farm. Let's look up the ingredient list of this supposed serum, shall we? Please hold. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> this is an oil, not a hydrating serum whatsoever. So she is now applying an oil on her face after all of those face masks. Technically, an oil is something that seals the deal. It should be the last and final step of your skincare routine. However, I do not like it in the morning because people will usually use it before their sunscreen and it might mess up your SPF factor of your sunscreen. So I am very curious to see if she's gonna be using a sunscreen at the end of this whole hoopla um, production, but let's see. So if I'm getting ready for an event, or you know any sort of photo shoot that I like to make sure that a few days before I don't load up on sodium because my skin does puff up quite easily. So I drink a lot of water before an event. I don't eat a lot of salt. Uh, and then I'm a big believer in lymphatic drainage. Clearly, but she's absolutely right. I think if you have a big event, a wedding, a big party, a red carpet event, you definitely want to minimize your salt intake 24 to 48 hours ahead of time. I have done this as well, especially if I'm taking headshots because I get very puffy around my eyes. And honestly, you don't need to massage with 30 different massaging steps. You just need to do it once. It just takes one sperm to have a baby. You just need one good massage for your face to get the lymphatic fluid moving. Um, and so you basically just massage very gently from the inside. And like I said, up and out and down. You could use a cold spoon if you really wanted to. Um, or at least use something that's delivering anti-inflammatory benefits. All of this is just like... That's literally what this is, in a nutshell. Especially for my body, but also for my face. You really do notice just how much your skin has just released a lot of the, the fluid. And again, I sleep on my face. That's why sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I feel a little bit like a puffer fish. So last but not least, the last keyword. She feels like a puffer fish, but if you saw the video in the beginning, she does not look like a puffer fish. There's a big differentiation between how you look and how you feel. And you really have to objectively look at your own self because oftentimes there is a disconnect there. And she is going through the motions of somebody who literally is edematous, <laughs> like medically so, and she really is not like that in real life. And so that disconnect is real, at least from what I'm seeing, because she's gorgeous and is not even that puffy to begin with. Um, last massage that I use is one by Shawty Dirt. After all that is done, I'm actually going to take a warm cloth and just take everything down a little bit, just because when I'm gonna be applying makeup after this, I don't want anything to slip and slide. Just kind of take all of the serums an extra mask juice off. As I was editing the video, I wanna jump on here and say, the reason I had that reaction is because she put all of this product on her face and spent all of this money on her face and then annihilated her face with a towel to take it all off. And it's just like, it just felt a little bit wasteful for me when I think of how much product was just wasted. So moving on. An under eye cream. This one is by Kiehl's. I'll take about that much. I like how she uses the back of her nails. She's got me on that one. This one's like 50 bucks, I think. 
and it has again avocado oil beta carotene to help brighten the area it does depuff as well because of the beta carotene but you know i think that it's a good i think her order here at least she took off the oils <laughs> at least now she's using the eye cream first i'm curious to see what comes next i think we're like on step number 16 or 17 at this point um I don't know, this is like an, any, this is like an exam. This is like, this is like a, this is a marathon. Next thing that I do for my under eyes, which honestly is a big secret, it's this basic organic vitamin E wheat germ oil aloe vera. So I put about. So listen, she could have used Vaseline. I like it. I'm not, I'm not against what she's doing. This is probably a little bit too heavy for the day. And I'd be nervous using this again before sunscreen. I don't know if that stuff is coming up. But vitamin E is a very good antioxidant to help to reverse and to fight UV damage throughout the day. The skin around her eye is extremely delicate, but this is a very thick ointment and it looks so, at least from the video, that it looks like a thick ointment. So it might be a little bit much for a day look, especially before you want to apply any sort of makeup. But let's keep watching. Growing up in the Philippines, is you know such a huge she's filipino kumustaka ang pagalan ko shireen mahal kita i love pinoy people i love you guys i have a weak spot in my heart for the philippines even though her skincare routine is ridiculous i'm obsessed now <laughs> i just love i love filipinas i love them i love them i love the culture i love the people i love the food a huge fan over here huge believer of coconut oil and just everywhere skin Coconut oil is extremely comedogenic. There was, you know, food trends pre-face skin trends. If coconut oil is big in cooking, all of a sudden it's going to be big in skincare. If kale is big in the food, you know, world, then all of a sudden you're going to find kale extract. And we've seen this in the skincare industry. So the skincare trends literally follow food trends. So it's like, you know, they become hot, buzzy words. And coconut oil is one of those things that my best friend Uba is also obsessed with, but I think it takes a very certain type of skin type that can tolerate it. And you have to really be somebody who's not predisposed to getting acne or breakouts or anything at all on the oily side or combination skin in order to tolerate it. Because if you have oily skin or combination skin or you're predisposed to breakouts, you're going to break out. It is a very heavy oil. Save it for your chicken thighs, not your actual thigh thighs. This is a super serum advanced class by IS Clinical. Okay, so now we went from thick ass ointments under the eyes to light serums back onto your skin. I, I would have wished to see that she had used, after like annihilating her face with a towel, following the oils, use the serum first then at least the eye cream. Then, I still don't know if she's gonna have a sunscreen come up, but the sunscreen, and then she could at the end, if she really felt the need to top it off with some sort of ointment, once the sunscreen is sort of settled. But her, her order is just all over the map. Um, this particular serum, I think it retails for like 160 bucks or so. And it's a combination of like different types of antioxidants, like vitamin C, I think is in here. I think it also has, if I'm not mistaken, like, uh, tripeptide growth factors as well as arbutin to help brighten the complexion of your skin. So I guess it's fighting off the damage that the skin is about to be exposed to throughout the day, but also reverse that damage and hopefully minimize some of that hyperpigmentation, which she needs because she has melasma and arbutin is one of those ingredients that can definitely help. So at least she has, you know, with her wide, wide net, um, picked a few gems. Sunscreen. Oh, okay. So, so now she's using her sunscreen. I'm very proud of her. At least she went, I hope this is the last step of her skincare routine part before her makeup. I hope to God has the sunscreen. I am proud of her. This girl has melasma. She's doing two really good things. She's using the Arbutin and she's using the sunscreen. So let's go. Next moisturizer that I like to use is by Tata Harper, the Illuminating Moisturizer. So last but not least, before I move on to makeup, I love to always start with this Fenty Beauty Spray. I also feel like if this is what Rihanna uses and this is what gets her skin the glow, then I probably should also drink it. I'm kidding, I'm not gonna drink it, don't drink this. Spray it, but you know, I just always think Rihanna. Now I'm gonna just jump right- Whoa. Guys, we are at minute 9.32. 
and we've just gone through nearly like 20 some steps of her skincare routine and I try to take notes while watching. I have a hard time um, getting upset at her because she's at least earnest and trying. I think there's a couple of mistakes that she made in her skincare routine, which, okay, fine, she's excited. But the reason I have an issue with it is because it's a lot of wasted when it comes to money and it's not very environmentally friendly. So if I were to take her skincare routine and to redo it, I would tell you this. If this is a morning routine, just wash with water. If you're very, very oily, then you could use the Shawnee Darden cleanser in the morning as well. I think the excess use of face masks is just not necessary. And if she really loves the idea of face masks, the only one I would keep is the one by Honest Beauty because at least it is reusable and it is something that's not gonna be so harmful with full of wastage and for the environment. Now, I wrote over here, I would, in this following order, but I would do this. I would use, in the morning, I would start with the IS Clinical Serum, then I would use the Kiehl's Eye Cream, then I would use the, moist, the Facial Mist by Fenty, followed by one of the two moisturizers, either the La Mer Gel Moisturizer, if you're somebody who's oilier, or the Tata Harper Illuminating Moisturizer. I think because of her melasma, she probably prefers the one by Tata Harper because it gives her a glow. And then after the moisturizer, I would use Honest Beauty's face mask, let it sit over my face, allow everything to sit in, and I would take that ice roller if that's really what she enjoys doing. And I would do a lymphatic massage with the ice roller over the, that reusable face mask. Then I would take off the face mask, wash it, etc. My skin now is nice, cool, and the steps were all done coherently and consistently. I would then use my sunscreen last before jumping in to makeup. The oils I would not use in the morning. I would just save those for the night. And that is the one, two, three farm rose serum. It's not a serum. It's actually an oil. Um, and then she has so many tools. There's the nurse Jamie tool. There's the Shani Darden tool. There's the Gua Sha tool. There's, I mean, there are so many tools in this video. Pick one of them while doing your face massage. Um, but that's sort of what I would do. And if it's nighttime, I would use the vitamin E around my eyes because it's a thick ointment and I'm not worried about disrupting my sunscreen. So that's honestly how I think her skincare routine can be reworked. I hope this was educational. I hope this was helpful. I watched parts of her makeup routine and I'll tell you, I do admire that wearing less makeup when you have breakouts, she's right. You don't want to overclog your pores and cause more blockage. I think she also said that she embraces her physical appearance and I'm always pro that message, no matter whether you are this big, that big, this pale, that dark, these eyes, those eyes, everybody should embrace who they are because that's what makes you uniquely you. Um, I liked her beauty tip for her eyebrows. I was using that glue. I struggle a lot with brow gels and I think that's actually a good one. And then, um, she enhances her beauty molds with a freckle pen, which I think is very sweet and very cute. So that is it on the makeup side. I cannot comment on the makeup steps. I'm by no means a makeup artist, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys learned a thing or two. I'm Dr. Shireen Idris, Shay Mitchell, Mahal Kita, and Salamat Po for sharing your beauty ritual marathon with all of us.